Module 9, Real World Engagement and Transdisciplinary Learning Welcome to our module on Real World Engagement and Transdisciplinary Learning. In this module, you will learn about learning and teaching strategies to actively engage students. We will start by clarifying key concepts associated with active learning. Then, we will approach active learning in education for sustainable development and the characteristics of effective ESD. At the end of the module, we will inform of quality practices associated with active learning in ESD. Engaging students in real-world situations and approaching transdisciplinary learning is only possible using active learning and teaching strategies, such as inquiry-based, experience-based, action-oriented or transformative-based approaches. Let us begin by clarifying these concepts. Inquiry-based learning is a learning approach that engages students in exploring and questioning real-world problems. Experiential learning means learning by doing, experimenting, participating in hands-on activities, and reflecting on the experiences. We learn by our experiences, which result from interacting and engaging with the world. An action-oriented approach to learning advocates the organization of realistic scenarios, integrating both the classroom and the outside world, in learning through action. Transformative learning aims at transforming how students interpret reality, their thinking, perceptions, and values. It leads to students reflecting on acquiring and accommodating knowledge and being aware of their own theories and assumptions. In a nutshell, these different concepts can be conceived as tools for engaging students in actively learning, through real-world situations, questioning, experimenting, and reflecting. Although these ingredients are valuable at any subject matter, these competencies are especially relevant in education for sustainable development, as ESD approaches complex phenomena and controversial issues that require active, creative, and critical student citizens. In ESD, Teachers must develop a competence-based education to promote transformative learning, impacting students' knowledge, attitudes, and actions. For that, teachers must perceive students as active agents in knowledge building, giving them ground to develop their own ideas, values, and viewpoints. Accordingly, students assume a pivotal role, in taking on responsibility, acting on behalf of sustainability, and helping shape a better future. According to several authors, there are areas and competencies needed to build a sustainability capability. Among these areas, there are two that caught our attention as they connect to students' active role in ESD, embracing complexity and sustainability and envisioning sustainable futures. Embracing complexity and sustainability requires students to approach a sustainable related problem from all sides, systems thinking, assess information and arguments, critical thinking, and identify suitable solutions to anticipate, prevent, or even mitigate problems, problem framing. To envision sustainable futures, students will need to be creative in anticipating and preparing alternative possibilities for the future, futures literacy, be able to cope with the uncertainty of the future and adapt to accommodate changes, adaptability, and use their creativity to explore new ways of thinking and doing, exploratory thinking. The literature identifies schools' key characteristics that are associated with effective ESD implementation. To develop transdisciplinary learning, schools need to establish and or strengthen relations with the community. There are a couple of key ingredients when it comes to involving external partners. It is important to provide spaces for dialogue and to open internal and external channels of communication. This will facilitate the exchange of regular information about projects' goals and progress. It is also crucial that ESD understanding is clearly communicated within the school and to external entities. The way the school actors communicate is also a model for students' communication and it invites students' active participation through communication. It is also crucial to directly ask experts and stakeholders for their advice and support and to invite them to presentations or exhibitions to follow the project's outputs. 
Another important characteristic related to school resources is time management. Time management is crucial to promote real-world experiences as it relates to organizing student schedules so there is time allocated to out-of-school experiences and community encounters, such as field trips. The school's infrastructure is another key element to effective ESD, and it also contributes to creating students' engagement with real-world problems and transdisciplinary learning. The way the school is built and how it works can be a model of sustainability and can pose learning opportunities for students. For example, the school's gardens can be used for students to learn about sustainability and circular economy, but also about practical aspects of botanics, biology, and geology, among others. Supportive relations within the school team, between schools, and with outside partners are essential for the promotion of opportunities for students to engage in real-world settings and experiences. It is among the school's network that teachers find ground to organize new experiences for students. Certain experiences are only possible with the collaboration of several teachers. To raise engaged students, the school also needs to promote democratic decision-making. Students are more involved in projects if their voices are heard. So, which practices promote students' engagement in real-world problems and transformative learning? Please pause the video and think about it for a moment. Teaching and learning strategies to promote students' engagement in real-world problems and transformative learning. Quality practices include listening and valuing students' experiences, ideas, and expectations, encouraging cooperative and experiential learning, developing practical activities, and providing contexts for students to develop their own ideas and perspectives. To help students build perspectives for the future, they should be given scenarios to brainstorm alternative solutions for the future, compare short and long-term effects to decisions, search for past, present, and future contexts for problems, and plan to reduce risks. In addition, students need to embrace a culture of complexity, in which sustainability problems require a complex thinking beyond simplistic solutions. Quality practices involve students building their own knowledge from different viewpoints, prior to finding solutions, seeking relationships and interactions between subjects in relation to a specific problem, appreciating diversity as opportunities to find alternative solutions, acknowledging emotions to gain a deeper understanding of problems, and accepting the uncertainty of the future. In sequence, students need to be confronted with situations where there are conflicting interests and perceive different perspectives, they should be encouraged to develop empathy and identify with others, to give arguments for different positions, and to investigate situations and identify useful solutions and alternative possibilities. Values are a part of ESD. Students should work on distinguishing between factual knowledge and opinions based on values and search for hidden interests. They should also work on reflecting on their principles, but also respecting and understanding others' values. Teachers should not impose their beliefs, respecting students' views. The next step is taking action. Which practices support students in taking action? Teachers should involve students in decision-making towards specific problems, viewing this exercise for its added educational value, students actively participate in decisions on actions to solve a problem and then reflect on the effects of their action, considering alternative solutions, teachers support students in the skills needed to participate, such as listening, considering different points of view, showing empathy. Now, take some time to reflect on these strategies and how you can support and encourage your students. Maybe take some notes or discuss with your colleagues. Please pause the video. In the scope of Sustain All, an Erasmus Plus project, good examples of projects that promote students' involvement in real-world situations, enhancing transdisciplinary learning. Let us see the example of how a project can be used to involve students with the problems of their river. For more details, please watch the National Spark video from Portugal in this module. In sum, in this module you learned about real-world engagement and transdisciplinary learning. You acknowledged related concepts such as inquiry-based, experiential, action-oriented and transformative learning. 
You also learned about the students' and teachers' role in active learning for ESD and competences for effective ESD, such as, establishing connections with the community, pluralistic communication, time management, physical infrastructures, supportive relations, and democratic decision-making. Finally, you ascertained quality practices, as teaching and learning strategies, perspectives for the future, culture of complexity, critical thinking, value clarification and development and action perspective and participation. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.